Welcome back to AJSpeller.com. In today's video, we're going to find the equation of the tangent line um, at the point x equals 3 for the function um, f of x is equal to 9 divided by x. Uh, this, this tutorial here is actually going to be an addendum to a previous tutorial where we actually used the difference quotient to find the answer. And uh, we used the calculator, but um, I wanted to expand on the explanation on how to use it. So let's begin by rewriting uh, this equation. So I'm, I'm, yeah, the, the equation uh, f of x is equal to 9 over x. All right. We also know that f of x is the uh, same thing as y, but let's figure out what the value of y would be uh, when the value of x is 3. So we're going to just do a basic substitution. So here f of 3 is equal to 9 divided by x. Well, not x, but actually 9 divided by 3 and then 9 divided by 3 is 3 so we find that our point or actually our point of tangency is at the point uh, 3 3 next thing I want to do is uh, I want to rewrite this function f of x in a different form so f of x is equal to 9 over x but it's also can be rewritten as take the constant 9 and then I want to multiply it by x raised to the negative 1 if I move x from the denominator to the numerator, it's understood that the sign of the uh, exponent uh, will be negated. So here's what we have. And what I want to do is now take the derivative of the function in this form because uh, it's easier for me to use the power rule than it would be for me to use the quotient rule. And actually, this is such a simple equation. The quotient rule really wouldn't have been uh, that bad. But let's just go ahead and do it with the, um, with the power rule. So here I'm going to take f prime of x, I keep my constant of 9, I bring down the current exponent which is negative 1, I keep my base of x, and then I decrement the negative 1 by, uh, by 1, which makes this here a negative 2. And now let's rewrite this uh, by doing some basic simplification. Uh, 9 times negative 1 gives me a negative 9, and then I have x to the negative 2 um, as my... Um, as my next factor and I don't want the uh, negative exponent so I can move that to the denominator so the so the function or I'm sorry the expression uh, that represents the slope of the derivative is a negative 9 over uh, x squared next thing I want to do is using the derivative I want to see what the actual slope is when the point is 3 so let's go ahead and actually do that so f prime of 3 is equal to negative 9 over well this 3 is substituted in for the x so this is actually 3 squared so I have negative 9 over a positive 9 which simplifies down to a negative 1 so this here is my slope and also in the equation we'll see it as the letter as the letter uh, M so now let's go ahead and create or begin to create the the equation of the tangent line. Well, we're going to use the slope intercept form where that's y equals mx plus b. Well, we know y to be the value of 3. We just figured out m or the slope to have a value of negative 1. They gave us or told us that the value of x is 3. And we're trying to figure out the value for b. So we begin to simplify. So I have 3 is equal to, well, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 plus b and to get to b by itself I need to add 3 to both sides these 3's cancel and then I have 6 is equal to b and now at this point I can actually write the um, equation of the tangent line which is y is equal to uh, m which is negative 1 x plus uh, plus b in this case b is 6 and again I can rewrite this even more simply as x is equal to I'm sorry y is equal to negative x plus 6. So either one of these um, are the would be the um, equation of the of the tangent line at the point um, that x is uh, 6. So now let's call up the calculator and do this um, graphically. Alright notice I've already put the two um, equations in place and what I want to do now is let's go ahead and add the point to the um, to the graph. So let's go ahead and 
call up our our listing so just press the stat button go down to edit and in L1 we said the X value was 3 and in L2 we saw the Y value was 3 then let's go to second and then stat plot let's turn this plot on it's currently off so now it's on let's go down uh, we see that the um, that the X values are in L1 which is what we place the 3 and the Y value is in L2 where, is we, where we place the other 3 let's use this uh, square here as the marker and let's change the color here to let's do light blue and now let's and now let's graph All right, this here is the actual function we see the point three three and then we see the um, we see the tangent line actually intersecting uh, the graph at that point let's go ahead and zoom in because everything we're interested in is here in uh, quadrant one so let's go ahead and press the zoom key and let's scroll down and we want to get to quadrant one we could press enter here because uh, we're on quadrant one another thing you could have done was just press alpha and then we see that we have the A here on the math button and that would also give us quadrant one alright let's zoom in a little bit closer let's see one two three four five six so let's make the maximum X value a seven and then one two three four five six let's also make the maximum Y value a seven so let's go to window alright let's go down X max is seven Let's go down some more. Let's change the Y max also to 7. Press enter and then graph. All right, and then here we have a closer look at what's going on. And let's use another function. Uh, let's go to second and then draw. And we're going to let the calculator figure out what the tangent is. So we're going to press the number 5. And let's go ahead style. Um, we press the, um, the number 5 key. I'm sorry, the, the graph key so that we can get to style and let's change the color from it's currently at blue let's change the color to um, let's go with um, yeah let's go ahead and go with green and then let's press enter and then we want to do this at when x is 3 so we press enter again and we'll see the calculator is drawing in the um, the tangent we see it's actually overlapping the tangent but we notice that the equation is looks a little bit different if we look closely we see that we see that um, all these points all these um, place values after the decimal point it's so many so it's pretty insignificant for what we're trying to do but we can clear that up by pressing on the mode button let's get out of let's scroll down the float let's get out of the um, float and let's go ahead and make it um, use one place after the decimal point Let's press enter on that let's go back to graph and then back to second and then um, program which gets us to the draw let's go back down to five which is tangent uh, let's go back to style let's change it from green this time let's change it maybe to black so when it's drawn and we can see what it's doing so let's go down and then press OK and again we want to put it at position three it's already at position three we see our X is three and our Y is negative three and then matter of fact let's press the three and then press enter we see it draw it in in black and we see that we have the equation that we came up with which is a uh, y is equal to a uh, negative x negative one x plus six and if i go back we see here y is equal to a uh, negative one x plus six all right that sums it up for this video uh, thank you for watching and please stay tuned to uh, ajspeller.com